Hi, I am Tulip Jodhri. Welcome to my video series, Coffee Time. I hope you'll join me for a cup of coffee and we'll share some thoughts. And I'd love to hang out with you in these times of COVID-19 when we have to stay at home and be careful when you go out. So hope you are all safe and my prayers for the suffering masses. We send our prayers to each and every one. But before I begin anything else today, I love to honor our literary giants who have left valuable words for us. And from this, I'm going to share some words of Khalil Gibran and what he has said about giving. You give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. For what are your possessions but the things you keep and guard for fear? You may need them tomorrow. And tomorrow, what shall tomorrow bring of our prudent dog bearing bones in the trackless sand as he follows the pilgrims to the holy city? Yes, this is a time to give, to share. As Mother Teresa has said, if you cannot feed hundred, then feed just one. And from here, I'll tell you of a literary character called Gopal Bhar. Gopal Bhar in Bengali literature was a character who brought humor. And I remember when we are small, we didn't have television or even radios to listen to other comedians. But at such times, my grandfather often told me witty tales of Gopal Bhar. So in one of these tales, Gopal Bhar won a competition where he was supposed to spend the whole night in the pond in the winter of the kingdom where he lived. And the king had announced a big reward for one who can spend the whole night in the cold water. So Gopalwar went and stayed in the water. The king's castle had a bright light on the top. So he kept staring at the light throughout his stay in the water and in the morning he made it but the king was very skeptical and he said I'm not going to pay you the reward because you looked at the light and Gopalbhar knew better than to argue with the king so he went back so one day the king didn't have his cook so he called Gopalpar to cook his rice. Gopalpar brought a long bamboo shoot on the top of which he put pot of rice and he started the fire beneath the bamboo shoot, not even touching it. The whole day went by and the fire, unable to reach the pot on the top of it, didn't have the rice cooked at all. If the fire was around 100 feet from the pot, how can it cook? It wasn't getting any heat at all. The king was very hungry at the end of the day and said, Kopalbhar, where is my rice? You started cooking in the morning the Gopalbhar said 
my dear king. Come, look. The rice is cooking the top of the bamboo and I am heating it with the fire. It doesn't catch the heat. The king said, yeah, it doesn't catch the heat, but you know better. Yes, my dear king, he said. And Gopalbhar smiled at the king and said, so how did I get my warmth in the pond of water? when I was looking at the light on the top of your castle. So hopefully you will give me my reward now. That's all for the Gopal Bhar. Now let's read a poem from me. Are you enjoying your coffee? I hope so. Or we can have tea also. And maybe a little bit of snacks. But and then grocery shops are so difficult, right? Let's get back to poetry now. This is a poem that I wrote quite a while back. But I like to read it because I like rain. Do you like rain? Yeah. Watching the rain. Rain pours in torrents bringing you to me. I remember the day you and I got soaked in the rain. Our wet bodies had clung together, drinking in the rainwater. And the wind blew, giving a cold, shivering touch. And yet, our love found thousand flames in that pouring rain. Stay safe. I'll be back. I hope you'll join me again in my video series of Coffee Time. And thanks to Amherst Media and the great team who are together in these times to help me along to reach you with something, some way. Thank you for being there and being with me until we meet again.